Okay, we have another integral here from MIT Integration B. This is from 2017, problem number eight. We have the integral from infinity to minus infinity of e to the minus 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 dx. And one thing that's really sticking out to me is we got a complicated exponent here on our exponential. And especially that we have a power of two. If this was just a power of one, we could probably work with it in a more, uh, maybe just like a u substitution. But because we have a square term, this is making me think of the Gaussian integral. So we won't derive how we got this today, but we can, if we can get our integral into this form or with the u substitution, get into something like this, we'll then know that that piece of the integral is gonna be the square root of pi. And so then what this is gonna come down to, it's all about what we can do with our exponent here. How can we manipulate this to get it into this form? So what I'm gonna do first is we'll just factor um, a minus out of it so that we have it all positive. So we'll have 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. And we want to set this up so we can complete the square. We need that square term in this thing. So what I'm going to do, and the way I like to do this, you don't have to do it this way, but I'm going to multiply this by 2 and then divide by 2. So doing that, we're going to rewrite this as 4x squared, multiplying every term by 2, 10x plus 6 over 2. So then completing the square on the numerator, we're gonna have this, we'll rewrite this as 2x plus 5 halves squared. Just noticing when we square that, we get 4x squared plus our 10x. But then this is gonna add a 25 over four when we square this term. So we'll just subtract that off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write six that we're adding here. We'll write this as 24 over four because we know we wanna get a common denominator there. And this is gonna all be over two. Then from here, we can see when we combine these, we're gonna just get a minus one over four right there. And then let's split this up into two terms now. So we're gonna have our minus up front here. I'm gonna take my two and write it, I wanna combine it all into one square. We wanna get this boiled down to like one squared term. So I'm gonna write this as square root of two, all of this squared. And then minus one fourth divided by two is gonna be a minus one eight here. Just a lot of messy algebra is going on here. So, so for the next step I'm gonna do, we're gonna distribute our minus sign. I'm also gonna kinda of combine this square root of two into each term, so let's see how that looks. We're gonna have our minus sign, and then I'm gonna write this as two square root of two x plus, we'll have five two square root of two squared, and then distributing the minus to the minus one eighth, we're gonna have plus one eighth. And then one more piece of manipulation here, I think what we'll do, we're just gonna bring our square root of two rationalize the denominator, a two is gonna cancel. Okay, so now after a whole bunch of algebra, you see that we've just rewritten our exponent, but we've got it now where we've really kind of isolated a uh, squared term here. By exponent rules, if we have something, if we have e to the a plus b, we can write this as e to the a times e to the b. Well, when we do that, we just have here, this is gonna be e to the 1 eighths, and this is actually just a constant value that we can bring outside of the integral. Now we have our e to the 1 8th out front of the integral, and now we really just have one term here, which makes this perfect for a u substitution. So we'll just make this piece our u, and you'll see when we do that, if this is e to the minus u squared, we really have exactly what we need for the Gaussian integral. Well, let's just do that substitution and see what happens. So we'll have u equals square root of two x plus five over two square root of two, and then we'll take the derivative du it's just gonna be square root of two dx. But then we'll solve for dx real quick and we're gonna have dx is du over square root of two. So now I'll make the u substitution. We'll have e to the one over eight. I'm gonna take from our d, I'm gonna take the square root of two and just bring it up front all in one step. And then for our bounds, you'll notice we plug infinity into our term here square root of two times infinity is still gonna be approaching infinity. And the same thing with minus infinity when you plug that in there. So our bounds don't change. We're gonna have e to the minus u squared. And our dx again is du over the square root of two that we already brought out here. But then now we have it exactly what we want. For this thing, we know the value. It doesn't matter the variable name in a definite integral. So this whole piece right here is square root of pi. So for this, we're gonna have e to the one over eight square root of pi over square root of two. 
And then just to make it neat, I'm going to write it as e to the 1 over 8, big square root of pi over 2. That's going to be our solution. So that was just kind of an interesting problem with the Gaussian integral, mostly just a lot of algebra. Stopping it there. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.